Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the fourth process problem B that is Rudolph and Bun 21. Okay, so let's read the problem statement. So in this problem statement, we are given an array A that is con that consists of n integers and the elements are numbered from 1 to n. So that is for sure. And what we need to do? We need to choose any index i that is greater than 2 greater than equal to 2 and less than equal to n minus 1 and what we can do we can do this these operations assign ai minus 1 as like decrement by 1 decrement ai minus 1 by 1 and decrement ai by 2 decrement ai plus 1 by 1 okay so we can do any number of operations so what we need to do we need to make all numbers 0 that is our goal so let's see the approach to solve this question. Okay, so in the first case, we have this thing. Can we make it zero? Yeah. So one of the possible solution is given here. By sequence of this these operations, we can make it zero. Perfect. But what we can do? We can do one more sequence of operations like uh, suppose if you choose i equal to 1 in the starting and reduce the minus, uh, left element that is that becomes 0 here and this 3 will become 2 and this 5 will become 4 okay and again 5 and 2. Now we have i equal to 2. Let's take it 2. So, can we do that? No. We can't take this element. Because, sorry, not 2, sorry, i equal to 2. That means this element. We can obviously take this element. And uh, can we make it 0? Yes. By performing 2 operations, we can make it 0. So, what will happen after two operations? So, after two operations, it will be zero. It will be, it will be zero. Okay. And what will happen to this five? This will also become, hmm, this will become three. And this is 2. Okay. Mm, I feel I am doing something wrong. I have done something wrong here. So let me correct it. Okay. So <clears throat> instead of this, we have 0 here. Then what will have? We need to minus 2 here. Okay. So 3 minus 2 that will be 1 obviously so let's have it 1 here 1 and then we'll have 4 then 5 and 2 okay now we have i equal to 2 so we can choose this index so can we make it 0 yes we can so let's have it 0 and what we need to reduce 2 so that will become 2 here and from here this will become 4. Now at i equal to 3 we need to take this number this number. Can we make it 0 here? Yes by 2 operations we can make it 0 and this will automatically become 0 because like after 2 operations we will do 2 times minus. So that's why 4 minus 2 minus 2. That is also 0. Can we make it 0? Yes. So we have all elements 0 in this case. Right. <clears throat> but why? How can we make it? But, but you are seeing like there are a lot of numbers. Uh, th these many numbers. If you start performing in a loop, we'll have a TLE for sure. If we go with this. 
so what do we need to do what we can target we can target the previous number can we make it zero if we make it this number zero then what will happen to other numbers this will reduce by like suppose if we are at ith element so to make it zero what we need to do we need to update b of i with b minus i equal to two times two times of b i minus one this is what we need to do and again for b of i plus one what we can do we can again do b minus equal to b of i minus one this thing and what we can do with b of i minus one this is obviously zero because we are targeting to make it zero so if we proceed with this that means all the elements in the left will be zero and at some place if we are not able to make it zero like suppose this element two times of b of i plus one is greater than this element then obviously we can't make it zero right so that we need to see so let's see the code for this problem to understand so what we need to do we need to take the input and make a loop so if we encountered any element that b of i is equal to equal to 0 then it's fine we don't have any problem we can continue otherwise otherwise we'll check like if this is a condition if b of i minus 1 is greater than 2 times greater than b of i then obviously we can't make it zero like suppose if here if you have 4 and here if you have 5 if you want to make it zero here then at least this value should be 8 not 5 because we need 4 operations to make it 0 and if we reduce here minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 4 times that it will be reduced by minus 8 so it should be minus 8 if that is not the case it will be 0 here and otherwise if that is not the case we need to update bi with this bi plus 1 with this and vi equal to 0 and at last what we need to do we need to check if every element is 0 or not if not 0 then we will return no otherwise yes hope you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding